am. Still alive. Got the hash browns. Still hauling. Up here. Through the woods of Maine. Price of metals down. Price of gas is up. What are you going to do? Got 12 gallons out of the old Ford Taurus. And uh, the dually's having a nice time drinking it up. Got a truck running over there, AC on. Don't need it today. 60 degrees, beautiful day. Two wraps in the same package. Save on the paper. What are you gonna do? Putting all those folding chairs in that car does not mean you got more seating room. <laughs> <laughs> Needs more weight though. <laughs> yep. Funny joke. It's got the jokes. See, in that first clip, I was hauling in the dually, too. Hauling the trailer, a bunch of stuff. It wasn't a very big money load that time, but um, that was a while ago now. It was weird. Uh, I got a couple of phone calls right after I was kind of in the middle of making that video that day. And some things sort of happened that I had to tend to, uh, you know, a couple uh, personal type things in my life. And, you know, it's just normal stuff that, that happens, you know. And it sort of uh, messes up the head a little bit short circulated the mind and uh, that was it didn't finish the video and didn't upload for a little while didn't make any videos just sort of happens I guess don't really know how but you get tied up with other things and uh, part of it was that and part of it was such a long winter I think when I finally got out of the winter and it started to get nice and I started to get busy a lot of stuff to pick up a lot of stuff to do I think I just sort of got, you know, occupied with that, and uh, 
I don't know. It's just what happens, I guess. But here we are. What? Got uh, Rosie riding today. Nice day. Not too hot. Not too cold. Perfect weather that she loves. Been uh, been hauling with Big Black, you know. The 2010. Uh, been using that a lot. Just running cars down. Man, that guy's electric fan was loud. But um, a lot of vehicles. Nothing good, you know. Nothing really worth even, I mean, showing, you know. It's just plain old junk. Just rotten junk. Nothing runs. Nothing's worth having any fun with. But today, taking the back roads, running the dually, 454. We got the dump bed full of number one. We got some aluminum wheels. Got for free on the side of the road the other day. Thirty bucks sitting on the side of the road. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants the 30 bucks. I want it. But, started off by um, screwing up, you know, because I got the dump bed and it's, um, it works out good for a lot of things and I do a lot of uh, trash pickup and, um, you know, runs to the dump. Obviously, very easy to uh, push a button and just dump it out rather than have to unload it by hand. But we got the high sides on there. Been getting some full house clean outs where I get paid to just take everything out of the house and throw it away. So that gets pretty interesting. But. The problem is, if I put metal in here, I either have to touch it twice, unload it, or it ties up the dump bed. And I just, I've had it tied up for about almost two weeks now because it's very, it happens very easily. And I got a guy that deals in um, heavy equipment he's got big dump trucks and excavators and stuff he's right in town once in a while he wants me to get rid of some stuff for him so he loaded in that big guy I showed it in the clip on the bottom of the, the load there I don't really know exactly what it is but it looks like a massive chain to me big links on it sitting in his yard he said it probably weighed a thousand to fifteen hundred pounds by itself but he loaded it in the dump bed with his excavator and uh, I got stuck because if I unloaded that I would have never got it back in and the metal's so thick, you're not gonna sit there with a torch and burn up gas all day cutting the thing up. So, where it all, you know, bundles together like that, like a chain, I'm hoping that it's just considered, you know, prepared number one. Well, not being in there really screwed up my other stuff because, uh, I have a lot of people 
that have added on to my trash route that I do on Monday. And, uh, oh, excuse me. Those people, um, some of them, they get backed up and uh, a lot of trash, a lot of bags. The dump bed, you just throw it in, and then I pull it, I back up to the hopper there at the dump and just hit the button. That's nice, but for the last two weeks, I've had to uh, do dump runs with the black truck because um, it only allowed two dump stickers. So I got one on this and one on that. And uh, I lost the brakes in the farm truck uh, completely. No brakes at all. I took it for a ride the other day. And uh, not that I have a dump sticker on that anyway, but they do recognize the truck, so usually they don't bother me. But um, I haven't had a chance to get under that and repair whatever line blew out or whatever happened. So, um, yeah, I was just running the black truck, filling it with trash and unloading it by hand, but whatever, getting paid. And, uh, you know, kind of inconvenient because, as I said, it's a lot, a lot easier to just use this. But, um, be nice to finally get this unloaded so I can use it again for other things uh, I figured you know the price is down I gotta try to separate some and get some number one steel try to make a you know a little money got this Taurus I bought I offered the guy uh, a price but that was a few months ago and now he comes back and he wants to do it and uh, you know I had to honor the price because you know you, you don't want to piss people off and the price of metals dropped like three times since then so I uh, had a lot of small stuff piling up a lot of metal from clean outs and people want me to pick stuff up and uh, sat there and cut it all up the best I could and uh, stuffed it all in that car got as much in there as I can still have some other appliances and stuff some bulky stuff sitting at home that I gotta get rid of and uh, all that stuff sort of sucks because you know it takes up room but it doesn't weigh a lot so I gotta haul it a long ways and it's not really worth it to just haul in a load of light iron like that because you barely you know you make gas money in a couple dollars so it's really not not really worth it in uh, a lot of cases but I try to when I make a run down there I try to make it you know worth my trip anyway but I don't know I think it's I think it's only like a hundred bucks a ton or something like that maybe a little more um, he gives me a little more for the cars if I if I drain them out and this Taurus had like I said, had a good amount of gas in it. So, of course, I got that out of there with uh, gas being at $5 a gallon. So, got all that out and uh, drain out the oil, drain out the transmission fluid, which the town takes anyway and burns in their uh, waste oil heater. So, that's pretty easy. And uh, cut the bottom radiator hose. A lot of the times I'll save the coolant if it's good try to try to keep it clean and use it and other stuff but um, so of course uh, separate the converters separate the wheels and uh, try to make something anyway Look at your soul. Look at that. You don't even care.
And here we are. Celebrate? I don't know. I guess you can sit there and complain about the prices, but... Take what you can get, I guess. Wouldn't even believe it. The fiasco that went on at the scrapyard with the pouring down rain that happened right when I got there. Hot and crispy. Yeah. Pretty good. Not hot, though. Warm. Well, I'll start off by saying I'm sitting here in the drive-thru, pulled up to the window, getting my food, truck behind me, big brand new Denali diesel Duramax, and, uh, Sitting there getting my stuff. Look at, look at how many napkins they give you. When you want one, they don't give you any. But then, you know, it's crazy. We got... Rosie likes to swallow the nuggets, so we got those. And you know we got the chili. Jeez, what a day. Bags, napkins, all sorts of stuff. It's crazy. So, I'm sitting there, getting my drink from the girl, and boom! Guy goes right into my trailer. I've had this trailer for, it's got to be, I don't even know, over, over 15 years, I think, or something like that. I don't even know. Lost track of time. But... There was once, years and years ago, a drunk guy drove right into the side of it with his Jeep, Jeep Wrangler. And, uh, that was a big fiasco. But anyway... One other time, and I think it was last year, I was sitting in traffic with an empty trailer, nothing on it. Same thing happened to me. Boom! Sitting at the light. Guy with a big brand new truck with a big boat, massive boat attached to it. Of course, we got the honey mustard. You know that. Rosie Nugget. Yep. Swallowed. But, uh, that's it. Those are the only times. Taking it through drive throughs a million times. Nope. So, I don't know. I pulled away from the line. Pulled around here to the side where I sit and eat here. And I watched the guy come out from the drive-thru. He got out. And checking out his truck. And I didn't think any damage was going to be done. Because, you know, the back of the trailer is just, just metal, you know. But it turned out he actually took the... The plow frame, the little push plate that sticks out, and that smashed out my taillight. I went back there, taillight lens half gone. It was still stuck on his plow frame. So he he's looking around the park a lot. I, I honked the horn. And he waved, came over, he drove over. He's a nice guy. Said sorry and everything, and now... Uh, he said, what do you want to do? You want a set of lights? And I said, yeah. He said, you want to take my information? And I was like, well, I'm like, if you got the money, I'm like, set of lights, 40 bucks. 
So, he peeled off two 20s. So I can get a set of tail lights. That's it. Fine with me. What do we got here? Got the old Dave's Classic. 60 pounds stuffed a lot of stuff in there but just light not a very heavy car at all you know, cats off on that but uh 228.75 for that car just for the weight and scrap, so you figure it out. That is a ton. And uh, the number one in the back of the truck here in the dump bed, 1,900 pounds. We almost had so that piece that guy said wasn't 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 as heavy as he was saying, but. I had a lot of other stuff too. 17575, number one prepared. So you did give me prepared for that piece, but when it's pouring down rain, not many people are uh, walking around in the mud like me looking at stuff, but I'd call it number one prepared anyway, so that's good enough. And uh, we had five aluminum wheels with tires, which was the four off that car and the spare. Twelve dollars a piece, so sixty bucks right there. I gotta take them all off, take all the lug nuts off. The guy picks it up. They all fall in the mud. <clears throat> oh, eat too fast. And we had two aluminum wheels that I got for free off the side of the road. Yep, free. And remember how I said $30 on the side of the road? Nope. $46.75 for those two wheels. So almost 50 bucks sitting there. Nobody wanted. Those were pretty big wheels. Clean aluminum rims. 85 cents a pound. So, there you go. You're not rich, but not too bad. You get hit, hit from behind in every which way. You get hit from behind when you buy the fuel, when you buy the food, when you go to the scrapyard, and then you sit there. And you still get hit from behind. Smash your tail light out. Well, he paid for the lights. Can't buy one. Gotta buy a pair. There you go. I have a brand new set at home already in the package for this occasion. So, but I probably will uh, take his money and buy another set. That way I'll have them.
couple fries. There you go. Don't eat that. The chili. I don't know if you can see that, but the steam's coming off. She's hot. Consistency is just how I like it. Oh, yeah, it's all worth it. Take a ride, make a little bit of money. Get some chili. Life's good. Thanks for watching.